Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to look in on my urban worm bag. And I will tell you that I did finally harvest it and put some food in on the top after that. So you can see that it is lower, uh, but then I, I did feed it without you guys, so sorry. So here we are. Just going to pull back. Looks like we're still getting... What did I feed them? Just regular old, you know, vegetables. Oh, onion. Oh, that's weird that they're all hanging out at the onion, but sure enough, they are. And Oh, banana. That makes more sense now that they're hanging out at the banana. There's probably still some rice residue in there. But that's a lime. So, again, always like to show you things that a lot of people will say, oh, don't feed them this, don't feed them that, because it'll hurt them or whatever. Um, so, there's an onion. They're hanging out in an onion, an orange, and a lime. So, not exactly true here. And these are African night crawlers, but these are African night crawlers in a small system. Part of me wonders if the system is pure night crawlers anymore. Um, but I'm still going to act as though it is because they do have much different temperature requirements. So I don't want to take the chance of um, avocado. Avocado with a worm. I don't want to take a chance of, of killing the African night crawlers, just in case. Um, they haven't really turned to work out very well for me. I know a lot of people really like them, but they just really are not doing what I would like them to do. I mean, at first it was like they're really great at getting rid of uh, leaves and paper and all of that. Which is true, totally true, but I also do have to keep the worms in the upstairs. So that kind of is not, I don't know, I would have rather had them in the basement. But I can't because they really did poorly over the course of last winter. Um, and I, I didn't want to kind of, you know, kill my investment, literally. Uh, so I decided to get an urban worm bag for them so that they could stay in here and be healthy, which they are. Um, the really cool, huge worms that I had when I first bought them is, is not what I'm seeing now after... Um, um, let's see, how long has it been? So, does, I don't know, a year and three months? So I've had them for about a year and three months, and now they're no different in size than my red wigglers and um, my European night crawlers. So not that that was the whole point of me having them, of course, was that they were cool. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. But, uh, you know, they are really just, just the same now. So just mixing everything up. They still do have some of the feeding from last time. So I'm not sure they really need a whole bunch. Definitely got some onions, oranges, bananas. So it looks like last week's feeding uh, is still is still fine. They don't need anything else. But I did put another like cat litter bucket of aged paper in here. Um, I'll link up to the the part about when I make my uh, my bedding. Um, so they don't really need feeding today, but maybe they just needed a little bit of attention. Little little hanger on there needs to get back in there. Okay, well, not super exciting, but you know, it is what it is. All right, guys. Well, give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video and click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. 
Um, as an aside, I did get about five gallons of castings in this, and the, some of the stuff that's on top here is the stuff that didn't go through the sifter. Um, so about five gallons, and I really did do what I thought was a pretty good harvest without taking a chance of um, knocking everything through. So I know people had said, you know, when are you going to ever you know, harvest this thing that's been kind of going on? Um, so I finally did and got about five gallons, and I felt safe doing that much. And uh, sorry I did not film that, but it was one of those, I've got time, I'm doing it right now. So, sorry. Anywho, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.